Welcome, in this video we're talking our phase one or information gathering. This is a promo video for my phase one information gathering course. So we have it broken down into a few different areas. We have passive reconnaissance, active reconnaissance, and a hybrid. For our passive, we're going to be looking at things like OSINT, uh, search engines, looking at some terminal commands, some miscellaneous commands as well. We're going to be talking about some automated tools. Uh, for our active reconnaissance, we're going to be looking at nmap and how to use nmap and the separation of nmap between reconnaissance versus network scanning. We're going to go through some web vulnerabilities tools and we're going to end with uh, vulnerability scanning tools. Lastly, we have a hybrid between active and passive. We're going to be using the tool Multigo to actually perform a hybrid reconnaissance to see what we can gather. So again, with our, uh, with our passive, we're looking at OSINT, we're looking at search engines using either Google Hacking Database, using Shodan. We're gonna be doing a little bit of Google dorking as well. For our terminal commands, it's gonna be some built-in functions and kind of how to better use them for passive reconnaissance. Uh, for our miscellaneous, we're gonna be looking at like DNS enumeration, we're gonna be looking at Netcraft and more. For our automation tools, we're going to be digging into a few different types of automation tools to kind of see how we can better gather information using our reconnaissance passively. For our active reconnaissance, we're looking again at nmap, we're going to be looking at some uh, web service tools, different uh, proxies, uh, looking at Nikto, uh, kind of seeing how we can use those tools. And we're going to end active reconnaissance with a comparison between two of the more common vulnerability scanners, Nessus and OpenVos. We're going to wrap everything together uh, by doing a hybrid reconnaissance tool. We're going to be using Matigo to kind of doing some passive and active reconnaissance to see what we can do with our information. So in this course, we're going to cover a lot of different types of tools and kind of try to see if we can understand how those pieces fit in the ethical hacking process. Questions or anything, definitely feel free to reach out. Thank you.